How's it going, guys? It's Weetie Bath here, coming at you with this tutorial on how to um, run the um, PSP dips in the uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on your PSP. Because I've been getting a lot of requests to do the video on how to do it. So yes, I'm, I'm paying attention. It took me a long time to see this, but it's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. So first, is you don't have to come to the website. I'll try to put that in the link in the description. It's JJS dot AT. I'll just put that in the description. So what you want to do, you want to scroll down until you go and see PSP dips underscore V or get version 6 period. And of course, as always, you'll need the half byte loader. Um, you either need the half byte loader, the custom firmware, or you need uh, or like a hand or pro homebrew enabler one of those three so you can basically do it on any PSP version I'm not sure if they support 6.60 because I actually haven't been keeping up with the PSP world today so um yeah go ahead and download that when you download it uh, open it up the photo that you saved it in I'm gonna go ahead and run it and let's see so it comes to this screen just go ahead and click next Agree. Um, read this on um, the display driver size show window. Just make sure all this is checked because you want all this. Um, next, um, yeah, you, you can see that. Um, startup menu, it really doesn't matter, but I guess we'll go ahead and throw it on there anyway. So, um, install. And I'm sorry that it took me so long to do this video because my iPad camera is broke for some reason in my. Um, fraps isn't working as far as recording this. Um, oh, I can't remember why this opened. Oh, yes, yeah, stalling. So, um, the install takes about, give or take, three or four minutes. That's just what I'm guessing at this moment. We'll see. I haven't did this in a while, but let's, um, invoking install driver with argument pro. Display. Okay. Um. Yeah, about three or four minutes. Um. Let's see. While it's installing, let me show you something. The PSV driver sign signature enforcement has to be deactivated before the PSP display can be used. Please refer to PSV phone. Okay. Um. I already saw it. You do not have to reboot for the changes. Okay. Um, uh, blah, 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 yeah, 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 uh, this program will try to copy, so, when this screen comes open, this is, um, you plug in your PSP, and you go to where you have it saved, so it should be like, ePSP or something, and you go ahead and click copy files and once you click copy files it'll copy the folder to your PSP and you go into your games folder or wherever you save your stuff at and you run it so let's go ahead and close this out and yep yeah, it's done run PSP dips I'm going to show you a run through of what it is okay so the server started um, they want you to connect your PSP All right. Next, um, I, I can't get on my PSP right now to show you this part, but I will show you, well, I will tell you how to do it. So after you open up the PSP disk folder, all you have to do is go into it, and you type in the IP address that is, um, they have for you, because they have thousands of IP addresses, so they just choose random ones for each time. So what you do is, um, I can close this down now, close that down. And um, the bottom of the window, you just see PSP dips right under your start. So um, you get all these settings like presets, options, control sound. Sound is for your sample rate if you want to have sound coming through your PSP. The quality, of course, is high resolution, medium. They set it on medium for a good performance, but if you want to, you can put it on high quality. It makes the game look pretty good, it gives you a good experience. Display drive, um, yeah, you don't really need to touch that. Screen mode, I like to use either uh, 
crop to 16.9 or follow mouse one um what else they have on here you get the mouse emulation the resident evil 4 um setup with a generic fps frames per second uh, fast image stretching, just leave all this the same. Don't touch any of this. Edit presets. Um, the presets are... Da -da 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 -da. You can go through this. I mean, the presets, you don't really even need that either. All the controls is basically set up. So after that, yeah, that's basically it. So, uh, um, make sure I covered everything on this. Oh, yeah. And, of course, to run the file, um, I'll... Uh, put the link in the description for no DC. You open up no DC. Um, you go to wherever you downloaded the Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Power ISO. And you run it. So while that's running, I'll go ahead and tell you that. So basically, all you have to do is you start up PHP Depths and you start up on your PSP. It'll basically transfer the link. You can either do it with your USB or Wi-Fi. I recommend USB for performance. And basically, it runs Dreamcast just like this. So after you do that, you just grab your PSP and you play. And that's that's, that's basically it. So I don't want to bore you guys with the rest of the video because the rest is just detailing. But if you guys need any help, just go ahead and comment. If you like the video, like. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe. Let me know if you want me to cover something else that's on your guys' minds. Thank you, and have a good day.